string tighten and push it in. There you go. To let the neighbors know if we ever catch them in our yard. Cody. We're going to shoot a cannonball. Shut up. We'll throw cannon down. Goodbye, my love. Sorry, I just. I can't see where it's going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready? Yep. Misfire. Take two. Yeah, you see, you still need to hold it because it. No, it doesn't. I have no clue where it went. I'm out there by the tree. All right, Cody. Hmm. So why is he answering the door if his mom and dad aren't home? Because they probably told him to say no. Where to go? Woohoo! So how far is that? About 30 feet. Is that good? Well, if you look at the scale size of it. Well, I found out she's not measuring it in uh, yards. She's measuring it in feet. And what does that mean? That would be a very good grade. I but, but, uh... This one kid asked her if he made it a bit oversized. He said a bit. He I thought Cody it. Wilson made it oversized. He did, but not this kid. This thing was as tall as I am. And about that big. How far did it shoot? 235 feet. <gasps> I picked up the metal piece you were throwing around. One more for good luck. Gosh. <laughs> It is a projectile, so I wouldn't sit in front of it. Don't yeah, you ever watch Mythbusters? Loaded. It's not loaded. And the safety's on. It's Doesn't have a safety. Yes, it does. What are you doing? Oh, it's, I'm, I'm so used to load, keeping it like that. You don't need to take that. You're going to get a tootsie roll. I thought you were going to shoot it again. No. What do you say to your papa for his engineering expertise? Sign on this so you can, uh, <laughs> That's nice, Terry. I'm filming. <laughs>